to the show, everybody. Well, to tell us how your body type can play a huge role in your health, everyone, please welcome doctor of traditional Chinese medicine, Angela Warburton. Welcome Hi. to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Happy we're to very here. thrilled to have you here Thank today. You. And this is very interesting stuff. We're going to talk about uh, different body types mm -hmm. then. Um, and in Chinese medicine, traditional Chinese medicine, body types doesn't mean your physical shape. No. Not like in fashion. Like in Not fashion. like a pear or an apple or anything like that, that yet. Can yeah. you just briefly explain sure. through the broad scope of what that means, body type in so Chinese body medicine? Type, we're always looking at the internal environment of someone and no two people are the same no two people have had the same journey to get here their body types not the same how they respond to food how they respond to environment stressors everybody's unique so we're always looking for that internal unique balance of the person and then customizing treatments from there so be, be it food or lifestyle or treatments. Okay. Okay. and you really have to know your body type you know to know what herbs and stuff are gonna Absolutely. are gonna benefit you yeah okay. because what's good for one person is not good for That's someone a great else point yeah. uh, so let's go through the, the first one here so the first one is the hot body Type. Yeah, and so we're not talking about my body, this hot I'm body that hot, I have. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, you are. You could be doubly hot, right? That's right. Um, so it's, it, we're sort of generalizing them here, but hot would be exactly what it sounds like, hot body type. So someone who's hot all the time, the guy who's in shorts in winter, yep. t-shirt, no jacket, there Me, you go. sweating all the time. Yeah, oh, hot, hot, hot. embarrassing. And it can also be the type of person who comes, it comes in flushes, like yep. hot flashes, night sweats, that kind of thing. I'm oh. going through my menopause oh, right there now. You go. So, yeah, so but I was hot. going through menopause since I was 20. So right, so, so it might be just a hot body type right, in that way. Okay. So these People might have a red face, they might be a bit irritable, they might have um, things that feel worse with heat, like if they have aches or pains, it might feel worse when there's, there's okay. they, they might be red and sort of hot in yep. that way. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. All right, mm -hmm. so there's a hot body type. Right. Hot I, body I think type. that's one, and they're hot headed, so that sounds yes. a little bit like me. Okay. <laughs> so the, the next one is a dry, dry body, body type. type. So it, a lot of things can be combined. A lot of people will say, hey, I'm this and I'm this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. But okay. dry body type is literally a dry. So too much heat, when you think about sort of nature and stuff, like the yeah. desert, a lot of heat, all of a sudden things get dried out. Yeah. So that can happen to a person as well. So that's like dry skin. Dry skin, dry eyes, dry nails, like hang nails. Um, they can be like dry bowels, that kind of constipated kind oh, of thing as okay. well. Right. Um, they can be people who are a little fidgety, can't really settle sometimes. We'd say that's part of a dry Would body. Would be like always thirsty? Lips. Again, always like, a, thirsty, like a desert. Think totally a desert. dehydrated, right? When okay. you burn up moisture, you want to put it back in. So you in. could be that or you can be combined with the Absolutely. hot and dry. Because I kind of feel like I'm both of these. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm a hot dry. You're a hot dry. I'm dry, but later I'm going to be hot. You just wait. Yeah, I can't wait. Uh, so yeah, most people are a combination of a few. Yeah. Okay, oh, and then we have obviously the damp. The so damp, damp body type. type. So is exactly these are like what you think of damp as being. So these people um, don't metabolize water well. They, when you think of, like, if you have a towel and it's dry and you pick it up, yeah. it's easy to pick up. You soak that in water, it's like, whoa, really so heavy. Sluggish. So people will feel really heavy, heavy limb. They might feel really bloated or heavy after they eat. Um, if they get headaches, it feels like a towel, sort of like something around their head, or they might feel really foggy headed. Mm -hmm. um, these people, for symptoms like women, it might be polycystic ovary syndrome, or, or fibroids are really popular with this sort of damp thing. Same with like looser bowel movements, all that part of this damp oh, wow. condition. Yeah, yeah, you also have a cold body type. So is that the person that's always there? Exactly. <laughs> the exact opposite oh, yes. of, of okay. hot is cold. So the yeah. person who's abnormally cold. So it's like uh, summertime, so everyone else is in like tank tops and shorts and they're in a sweater. Okay. And so people might be kind of pale, kind of in that way. They might feel um, just, again, want warm stuff all the yeah, time. Cold looking. feet, cold hands, shivering. Not, not so much cold hands oh. and feet. That's a bit of a different pattern. That's the last one oh, we're going to okay. talk yeah, about. Oh, okay. a little bit. Okay. Yeah. And, and this was, I find this fascinating, stuck. So this is if you, if you're, if you're none of the above or yeah you're just stuck you're just, you're stuck. just stuck yeah so so these people might be really quick to anger kind of quick tempered okay. they might grind their teeth or clench their jaws at night people yeah. who do this <sighs> Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, oh, that's me stuck. Stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck. I'm stuck. I think so I'm stuck. Sorry. You are definitely uh, not stuck, no. I do a little bit of sign every now and again. Well, it, it's sometimes a release, but these people will often get like tension headaches and like, oh, and, like sort of up stuck. from here. Yeah. He's too good looking to be stuck. You're not Come on. stuck. Second not driving. It's just understanding. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So yeah. people might get headaches, pain. They might feel way better when they exercise because wow. it gives. And then this would be the cold hand and feet people. Oh, I see. So okay. it's like okay. the, there's, the circulation's not great. As soon as they exercise, whoo, everything's feeling good. Okay. So I now, know. now we can look at this and we can kind of pinpoint which one we are. But mm. now, if you find out what you are, you can help that person through. Through ch well, so Chinese medicine, we can do, we work a lot on food. So okay. we're looking at food as having properties, yep. hot, cold, dry, damp, all that as well. Yep. Um, we do acupuncture, we do herbal medicine. But um, so we're, we're always going to customize it to the person. But if people have a general sense of how they're feeling, yep. then they can do the little things in life that are going to help them feel better. And, and that's prevention, right? And this is fantastic. I never knew. Did you guys know I this before? No, this, this, this is really great. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you so much for sharing. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, Angela's going to talk about the herbs and spices your body type. So now that you know if you're hot, you're cold, you're I'm stuck, stuck, you're stuck, <laughs> I'm hot.
Welcome back, everybody. We're talking health and body type with uh, Angela. And now that we know our body type, we can find out what's going to be best for our body. I am finding this extremely fascinating. I have to tell you, it's such a, a new way to look. Well, it's not new. It's no, been around for a thousand years. Yeah, it's right, not but new. It's just for us, it's such a Absolutely. new way to look at our bodies and how we can treat the, the you know, these things that these conditions mm -hmm. we have. And I think that's the most um, amazing thing when people come and see me that they're like, this is this makes sense it and it's simple and it doesn't have to be something radical and big that you do. It's the little things you do every day and understand what we're putting in our body that can help balance us as opposed to sending us more off balance. Right. And we were saying, so we've got our body types here and mm -hmm. we've got some things that are going to be good yeah. for it. Now, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's obviously Absolutely. thousands of things that would, that would uh, help right. a certain so body type. Right. So obviously, if you're working with a practitioner, they're going to do a custom formula for you and it's very specific. Right. right. Um, what we've picked today are foods or, or spices that we would use in a more concentrated form if we were working for a formula for someone. But be, if you do a little bit in your food every day with these, um, and there are every food, we look at food as having not only nutritional value but properties so like we talked about body type hot cold dry damp food has, has those, those qualities. exactly oh, so wow. what we want to do when we're working with food or spices and things is that if you're a hot type you want to be having cool foods to help balance it's you out yin and yang. yeah exactly it's exactly it's obvious, isn't it? it is it's but obvious, we never think of it that way exactly right. okay, so that's what we've done with the okay. first one so if we are hot or stuck right these, these so are we the have same. peppermint so peppermint when you think of when you eat peppermint oh, yes, really course, cool fresh right so it's really good for the cooling type. It's also uh, really good for the stuck type. I say sort of hot and bothered. Okay. Peppermint's your peppermint. thing. Now, yeah. I actually, yeah. can, now I feel like I'm <laughs> really drawn yeah. to peppermint and I do peppermint oils. Yeah. Like I put it on yeah. like water. my wrists and breathe it a lot. It, yeah. I, and I um, drink it in my water. Perfect. It's, yeah. uh, but I'm hot, so I'm drawn to it. Would that yeah. be that the naturally, reason? Naturally, often we're yeah. drawn to. Sometimes we're like, this worked for my friend. I'm going to have it mentally. We'll have something. But right. if we listen, it's like, I had one woman who was eating salads. Not great for her, but she's like, I eat them every day. And I'm like, you shouldn't. And she's like, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I hate salads. Like you're not yeah. Yeah. Right. So it's like listening to our body. Our body often tells Can I, us. Is there any yeah. other exactly. besides peppermint that would be good for the hot? There are lots of things. Only because yeah. it's me and yeah. I want the list yeah, now. No, okay. I'm not well, the well, time. I mean, you can do. You can add things like peppermint into your 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 um, you know salads or things right. like that. But okay. there are lots of things when you think of what sort of cooling in that sense when you when you put things in to your body. Basil, like but, a lot uh, of the fresh, a lot of the summer of foods, it's grown in the hot yes. weather. It naturally cools us out. So a lot oh of those like leafy like greens and things like that they're really what good about for ice the and cold water so ice <laughs> that seems like, like it's going to cool you down it, but ice is a little bit harsh we tend to say it's going to impede your digestion a okay. little bit but Too having good. things cooler and not um you know if you're going to cook if you're a hot type you'd cook things quickly like steaming them or something like okay. that you're not going to but if you're the cold type you're going to do a low like longer sort of thing yeah so saying ice so, cream is not for the hot type no 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 uh, well i mean <laughs> the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. ice part of yeah. it's not for so this is really yeah. great for, 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 for the hot and the stuck pipe and then it just looks so nice and refreshing it does, and uh, the next one for dry, interesting, sesame, sesame seeds. seeds. Well, when you think of seeds, they're very oily. They've got a lot of um, sort of, oh, yeah, yeah, lubrication okay. to yeah, them yeah, and yeah, that yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. stuff. Right. So um, when you're a dry type, the seeds are actually going to be really nice and lubricated. So great for, you can put them on salads, you can put the, um, you know, the dress in dressings and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You, right. The black sesame seeds are a little bit stronger than the white ones. And why is that? Um, just a little more concentrated, we say. Okay. And so you could have them in crackers. So these are great for people who are constipated yeah. or someone who's got yeah. like the dry eyes. Dry yeah. hair. Yeah. And you're saying okay. just sesame seeds? Are we, are we doing nuts in general? Like we're not doing like nuts walnuts in general, and things like that. But they are oilier they, as a food. We okay. would use these in herbal formulas sometimes. Okay. Um, crushed, but like yeah, as foods, nuts and seeds are tend to be more of that sort of nourishing, lubricating. Can I ask you, like, if, for, like, for a person that's dry, would you maybe be tend to be have like arthritis and signs like that? Is that a sign of something like that, or have I gone way off here? I'm just, no, well, there's I'm different to types of arth arthritis. So we'd have a damp type. So we get things that get worse in uh, damp, whether hot type, cold type. So it's not just one arthritis. You can't and just say, you got arthritis, well, that's this is, ex yeah, exactly there's many it. types. Right, yeah, so that's like, we don't, we have all these different, d you know, diseases, but every person who comes in, even if they come in with the same condition, yeah. they're going to be treated differently because their root cause is different. We should talk about different. that on another show, because that's pretty to. interesting yeah. stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, for cold, we have ginger, ginger, and this is how I definitely know I'm not cold, like you said earlier, because I cannot stand the taste of ginger. Okay, so, so some, yeah. And he loves us. I love it, but it's but not good hot. for me, because I'm a hot. Sometimes, and sometimes yeah. you wonder, are we doing it because we think we're supposed to do it, or does it actually I actually don't love the taste of it, but I can I convinced myself I love the there taste of it. Go, like right? Somebody told me it's good, good for you and I just take it. I actually don't love it. Right. I find it a little burning. But it you burns. love... 
But peppermint, I, I, I just, right. I can, so yeah. that's where we t sometimes just check into actually how you actually feel when that's you have something. Let your body tell you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Perfect. And so we can do with ginger. You can use the fresh root. Um, if you have a cold, like common cold, and you've got the chills. Yeah. Really good for that. Not good when you have the sore throat. Sore throat, peppermint. Oh. But, chills, but ch chills, chills, and then the dry ginger is better when you that the person you're like, oh, I'm cold all the time. Right, right. And that core sort of cold, the dry ginger is better for and that. And this is great in teas and things of that teas, nature. Teas, um, you know, put it in into you know uh, soups or stews, whatever things like I've that. I've heard that actually, if you could put ginger in a bathtub, like oh, actual yeah. fresh ginger, and it heats up, heats your People body will temperature do that up. In a, in a salve too, and rub it on your feet at night for if you have cold feet. Really? Yeah, you can do that and and put the. I ginger know so in that. many people with cold feet. That's wow. a great remedy. Go. Okay, yeah. great information. Isn't this really like good. a yeah, girl. full of great information? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I could be talking to you all day yeah. here. I know. Um, the next one, damp, and I find this fascinating. Barley. barley. I, I don't understand. I know. It's something about barley. We use a different, a slightly different one in herbal formulas. It leaches dampness from the body. So those people who are uh, feel worse in the damp weather, they're yep. swollen all the time. They just like have the really heavy limbs and stuff. Yep. Barley is great for that. So having it in oh. soups is great. You can make a drink from it. You can just soak it in uh, a bunch of water overnight. Drink yep. that or or sort of eight cups of water, boil it down to four cups, let it cool off, put some lemon in, and sip on that. It helps to get your, like, to rid your body of, like, the, with the fluid metabolism. Right, right, right. It really helps with now, that. Now, do you have a website to go to for any I of this do. information? Yes, do you? Yep, okay, yep. We're going to post it on our website so people Wonderful. go to our website to go get to your Excellent. website. Why don't we do that? Because okay. this is really great. Yeah, stuff. yeah good okay. information. Right, thank, thank you so much. My pleasure. What a pleasure. Absolutely. I can't wait to yeah. see you again. Okay, my Absolutely. pleasure. We'll talk about some more great stuff. All right, guys, we're going to take a break. When we come back, it's time for Life Make Easy. We're gonna make your life easy. You just made our life easy. <laughs>